<laughs> oh my god guys i've been waiting to react to this all day so in today's video i'll be reacting to the new tv spot for godzilla king of the monsters i know that a lot of people were like messaging me last night saying hey hey you know there's a new tv spot should i check it out because it was like raw footage and things like that i really was trying to avoid spoilers and things like that but Eventually pictures did surface on Instagram and things like that. So I was like, ah, oh, shoot Like I'm excited, but I got to see like, you know I got to see the whole thing when it's like released on YouTube and they finally did so I'm just so excited to watch it The only thing that I know about this TV spot is that they show a little bit more of Rodan and King Ghidorah And then they show one of the monsters from trailer too. like they like fully reveal the whole monster So I'm like, all right, all right, let's check this shit out <laughs> I'm so scared to hit play, but I'm ready. I'm ready. All right Three, two, one, and go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Time has come. Yo! Okay, 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 okay. That was a trip. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think those monsters, those new monsters that we just saw in that TV spot, I really did not think they were gonna be that big, but nah, nigga, like, these niggas are massive as fuck. And I also noticed that a lot of people from a reaction to the second show for Godzilla 2, you guys were saying that these monsters were in Garrus and Kumanga, but after just watching that TV spot, it kind of does answer you guys' theories or what you guys thought was going to be Angaris and Kumanga. Now that other monster, we didn't see a whole lot from that first one in the first shot, but I mean, um, I don't think that's Kumanga either though, but um, I mean, because they did say that they're going to throw both classic and new monsters in this movie, so... I mean, who knows, but I don't I don't think it's gonna be any other monsters besides the main four. That shot with Rodan coming out that volcano and like you see his claw and shit. Oh my god! Rodan, like I love Rodan because I'm going back and rewatching every single Godzilla movie until it's Godzilla 2. And just seeing Rodan back then versus now, oh my god, I cannot imagine that. The way I see it. If you guys watch every single Godzilla movie in order from left to right, you'll know that Rodan was always in a grumpy ass mood when he's like awakened or like, you know, just flying around. He's always fighting somebody. And then when we see Rodan going against King Adora, oh shit, there's a massive size difference. And that is crazy. I really love that shot of Rodan going face to face with King Ghidorah like this, that is gonna be really intense. I don't know how Rodan's gonna go up against King Ghidorah like that. I know that's gonna be hell for Rodan. It's gonna, oh man, I, I can tell like it's not gonna be pretty, but I really like that shot. That really shows, you know, the dominance and power between those two monsters, especially in the sky, like, bruh. And I know Mothra's gonna eventually go up there too. It's gonna be crazy. Like Godzilla's gonna deal with three monsters that fly around in the sky. And he's the one that's like just walking on foot. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Godzilla handles these monsters in this movie. And I just can't wait to see this on the big screen. Huge props to Michael Dodri. Like this guy really brought Godzilla to life because he's a massive Godzilla fan himself. And he brought the God in this movie. So if I could just hug Michael Dodri right now, I really would. Other than that, guys, if you guys enjoyed my little reaction to this TV spot, please drop, comment, subscribe, and uh, turn on that bell. And... I will see you guys the next time. Peace.